the King's Commissioners. Story by Eileen Friedman and pictures by Susan Guevara. The King was confused. Every time a problem occurred in his kingdom, the king had appointed a royal commissioner to take care of it. There was a commissioner for flat tires, one for chicken pox, another for foul balls. There was even a commissioner for things that go bump in the night. This last commissioner had been appointed when the princess was having scary nightmares. Now there were so many royal commissioners, the king had lost track of who was taking care of what. He didn't even know how many commissioners he had altogether. I've got to get organized, he thought. Well, he thought again, at least I have to count them. The king called in his most important helpers, the first royal advisor and the second royal advisor. We must count all the royal commissioners, the king told them. I want you to issue an official proclamation. Tell the commissioners to line up outside the throne room tomorrow at three o'clock and be sure to use all the trumpets we've got. How do you plan to count them, your majesty? Asked the first royal advisor. Simple, answered the king. I'll count them one by one as they come in the door. And just to be sure we get the right number, you and the second royal advisor will count them too. The king's advisors did as they were told. The next day at three o'clock, a crowd of royal commissioners waited patiently outside the throne room door. Okay, it's time, said the king to the first and second royal advisor. I'll sit here on my throne. One of you stand on the right side of the door and the other stand on the left. Each of us will count. The royal advisors took their places. The king mentioned to the imperial doorman, let in the royal commissioners, he ordered, one by one. First came the commissioner for spilt milk. He'd been very busy when the princess was a baby. The commissioner for lost homework followed. She was very busy now. The commissioner for mismatched socks was next. Then the commissioner for wrong turns. As the royal commissioners filed into the throne room, the king counted them one by one in his head. One, two, three, four. The royal advisors busily made tallies on their large notepads. Just as the king got to 18, the princess came running through the royal back door to the throne room. She climbed up on her father's knee and kissed him on the cheek. As always, the king was delighted to see his daughter. Hello, my princess, he said, hugging her tight. After we finish counting the royal commissioners, you'll tell me about your day at school. But when the king turned back to the line of commissioners filing into the throne room, he realized that he'd lost count. No matter, he thought. My royal advisors are counting them as well. When the last royal commissioner had filed into the room, the commissioner for late arrivals, the king turned to the first royal advisor. How many commissioners do we have altogether? He asked. Well, your highness, said the first royal advisor, I made a tally mark for each commissioner who came in and then circled the marks in twos. He showed the king his notepad. There are 23 twos and one more. That doesn't tell me anything, said the king. I want to know how many commissioners we have altogether. But your excellency, let me explain. You see, the princess jumped off her father's knee and chimed in. Yes, daddy, she said, he's right. But the king ignored them both and motioned for the second royal advisor. How many commissioners did you count altogether? The king asked him. Well, your majesty, the second royal advisor said a little nervously. I also made a tally mark for each commissioner, but I put the marks in groups of five. He showed his tally marks to the king. I got nine fives and two more than that. Stop, cried the king. That doesn't tell me anything either. What I want to know is how many commissioners there are altogether. But sir, I can, tried the second royal advisor. Let me, daddy, let me pleaded the princess. The king looked down at his eager daughter and sighed. All right, my dear, you may as well try. First, can the royal organizer put all the commissioners in rows? Asked the princess. Tell him to put 10 commissioners in each row. Then I can count them. 
The king sighed again. I don't know how that will help, but okay. Following the king's orders, the royal organizer arranged the commissioners in rows of ten. There were four rows and seven commissioners left over. The princess stood in front of the first row of commissioners. Ten, she said. Then she walked the second row. Twenty, she said next. Walking along the row, she continued to count. Thirty, forty, plus seven more makes forty-seven. The princess looked up at the king. There are forty-seven commissioners altogether. The king was amazed and proud. What a thinker, he exclaimed. The first royal advisor felt a bit annoyed. That's the same number I got, he said testily. Twenty-three twos makes forty-six, plus one more makes forty-seven. I got forty-seven too, added the second royal advisor. Nine fives make forty-five, plus two more make forty-seven. The king looked confused. They're right, Daddy, said the princess. You can count in lots of ways. She pointed to the first royal advisor's tally marks and counted two, four, six, eight, and so on, until she got to 46. Then she added one more to make 47. Next, the princess pointed to the second royal advisor's tally marks and counted five, 10, 15, 20, and so on, to 45. Adding two more, she got to 47 again. All well and good said the king. We have 47 royal commissioners altogether. Then he thought for a few minutes. That's not so many, he said. We can still have more. Then I think we should have a commissioner to keep count of the royal commissioners, suggested the first royal advisor. Good idea, agreed the king. He looked down at the princess. If you weren't so busy with school, I'd give you the job. Maybe when I grow up, she said. For now, I think I'd rather be a princess.